Chef Mark here. Welcome back to Chef Mark Reacts. Today, I'm going to be watching Food Trends, Compliments of TikTok. These are rarely inspirational to professional chefs. Let's see what we have today. Okay. So far, so good. We got a burger. Okay. Heck yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop the video right there. Never use spray on a Teflon pan. It delaminates the Teflon and it gets in your food. All right, so far though, so good. Let's keep moving. Okay. So far, so good. I'm, I'm... Mayo. Sriracha. Avocado. All the major food groups right there. A burger. Oh my gosh. I, I have to admit, I want this. I don't know what's with the toothpicks or the uh, chopsticks, but heck yeah. And then back into the pan. Oh. Okay, I gotta tell you a couple things there. This this looks delicious. Crushed Doritos make the best seasoning. Uh, the fiery Doritos, the burger, the way he browned that tortilla. I like how he put the tortilla on a smaller tortilla on top, and then when he folded it over, it kind of sealed everything in. That looked amazing. I want. And then the second video. Missed an opportunity there. I would have seared that that uh, tortilla, that uh, basically quesadilla, back in the pan that had the meat juices in it for a little extra zing. And like I said, make sure you avoid spray in Teflon. That's a big no-no. But I'll tell you what, 10 out of 10 on that one. I know what I'm having for dinner. All right, some more burgers this time. Bacon, cheddar, caramelized onions. A little crunch. Never underestimate the power of a crunch. Here we go. That tortilla on top. This is great. Mm, I love it. You know, and the nice thing about this too is that you could use ground beef because you're like this. Here you go. Ground beef. Speak of the devil. All right. I'm excited to see what this gentleman here does. Break it up. Now, in New York City, this concept right here is called a chopped cheese. You take a burger patty and some cheese, you chop it up and put it in a bun. It's the New York City version of a Philly cheesesteak. When I lived in New York City, chopped cheese, two bucks. Now, who knows what they cost, but I used to eat them all the time, delicious. All right, so we're rocking out on chopped cheese. Oh, yeah. Okay, little aioli. All right, asking you shall receive, here we go. Loose, loose chopped cheeseburger. The crunch, the, I tell you, the crunch is great. And in we go. Oh man. And here's the money shot right there. I'll tell you what, I'll take three of those. That looks delicious. Uh, we have a concept here that works, and the reason it works is because it's good, sound cooking. Sometimes in Tech Talk videos, oh gosh, the guy who coated his filet mignon in fruity pebbles. I don't know if you've ever seen that video or the reaction videos from uh, some of my fellow chefs. Uh, ridiculous. This looks delicious, and I like the chopped cheese. I like all that cheese mixed in there. Delicious. Yeah, man. Oh my gosh. Cutting a tortilla with uh, kitchen shears, um, just buy the right size tortilla. Come on, all right. I, that doesn't inspire confidence in the rest of this video. Also, he's cooking on a little electric uh, griddle there. So, I don't know, this is kind of, maybe this is the most TikTok-y of the TikTok videos. Let's see. Yeah, he's the only guy who bought sauce and didn't make sauce. Okay, so far that burger's undercooked, so I'm curious to see what he's gonna do with that. 
That's too much cheese, if there is such thing. What do we got there? Some under caramelized onions. And then there's the crunch. Okay. That looks better than it expected. I'll tell you, I'm impressed. And before we get to the money shop shot, he was clearly having trouble getting that to move around. You want to warm your tortilla on both sides before you try to fold it. That keeps things nice and pliable. But he got there. Let's see what happens. And the money shot, not bad, not bad. All right. So what do I think of this trend? Well, I got to tell you, I love it. Uh, it's a quesadilla. And the way it's folded gives it that crunch wrap supreme. I make quesadillas all the time. I love them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, but I haven't done the crunch wrap supreme. The true winners, the, the people that are most successful have that extra small tortilla, kind of sealing everything in. And the crunch is important. I work with, a, I've worked in restaurants forever, and a lot of the pastry chefs that I work with know that they have to add a crunch to a dessert, which is why you'll see a twill or a cookie or something to kind of help break up the texture. And that's really what's happening here. So it's good technique, it's fun, it looks like it's easy to make. My favorite, definitely the chopped cheese with the ground beef. I could eat that all day long. And what's nice is you can always throw that into a hoagie, get in there, eat it kind of uh, with the peppers and onions on top. Uh, like I said, it's New York City's version of a Philly cheese steak in a Crunchwrap Supreme wrapping. It's the best of both worlds. Man, now I'm hungry. All right, I'm off to my kitchen to make a few of these. Thanks for tuning in to Chef Mark Reacts.